Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So DJI was busy overnight updating firmware for many devices, including the RC Pro. The new RC Pro firmware version is 03.01.1000. It adds several important updates, it fixes some bugs, and it actually adds a new interesting feature for support for the Virtual Flight Simulator. Now, even if you have no interest in installing the DJI Virtual Flight Simulator, it's still a good idea to get this update as it does add some important features. It updates the DJI Fly app to version 1.7.8 and that's important especially if you're going to be using the RC Pro to fly something like the Mini 3 or the Air 2S. Some of the new features that have been added over the last day requires that Fly app update. When you power on your RC Pro it should prompt you to update the firmware right away. If not you can go into the DJI Fly app, go to your profile, then go into settings and as you can see here we have an option for check for firmware updates. Now it's telling me I don't have any available because I've already updated mine. But if you haven't updated yours, it will prompt you to go ahead, download it, and install it. Now, if you're more interested in the firmware updates for the Mini 3, I do have a video coming about that as well, or perhaps I've already uploaded it, so you can go back and check my channel. This video, basically what we're going to be doing is focusing on the RC Pro and the new features that were added to it. And mainly in this update, it is the support for the Virtual Flight Simulator. I've already gone ahead and downloaded it here. Downloading it is pretty basic. There's a couple different ways in which you can do it. What you have to do is go to the DJI website and download the APK file because it basically is an Android device. So you do have to get that APK file and manually install it on the controller. But the easiest way to do it is to launch Firefox from the main screen. And then you want to go to the DJI forum. So you just want to go to forum.dji.com. That's going to take you to the mobile version of the forum. We'll click on these two lines here. We'll go to products. And then we want to select Mavic. Then we're going to scroll down until we find the appropriate sub forum. In this case, we're looking for the RC Pro. So that's it there. We'll click on that. It's going to list all the new features and changes that have been added. But what it also does here is it gives us a direct link to download the DJI Virtual Flight. So we can click on that. And that's now going to prompt us to download. One of the important things it does mention is that you do have to have 10 gigabytes of free space in the internal memory. I actually was having a problem installing it at first and that's what it turned out to be. I only had about 8 gigabytes free space left. I went through and cleared all the cache files but that didn't solve the problem. There's a lot of system memory that I couldn't delete. So what I ended up doing is just doing a factory reset of the DJI RC Pro and that kind of cleared all that uh, garbage that builds up over time. And then I was able to download it and install it. Once you've downloaded it, to install it, all you have to do is browse to your Files app, go to Downloads, and as you can see, there it is listed there. You'll just click on that, and it will prompt you to install it. Now, it may prompt you to enable certain permissions, so just make sure you turn them on if it does ask you. Once it's installed, you can see it's installed it on the second page over here, and we can go ahead and launch it. And as you can see, there we go there. Gives us some information there about the controls. We can choose the DJI FPV or the Avada. You can go through this little area here and get information about all the products, or you can go right into the virtual flight. We have a couple different maps that we can choose. So let's go ahead here, we'll do the parking garage. I'm just gonna select free flight. You can also do a time trial. And again, we'll have free flight selected. And then we'll select go. Now we can adjust the modes at the top here. When we're in C mode, that's normal mode. If we put it to the middle, that's manual mode. And then of course the S is sports mode. And to start things up, we push the sticks down and then in. And then it's just like any Mavic. So yeah, it's a good way to get some practice if you do plan on purchasing the Vada or the DJI FPV. Unfortunately, I haven't found a way to connect the goggles to it yet. Uh, that might be coming later on with a uh, firmware update for the Avada and the DJI goggles too. But uh, as of right now, you can only look at the uh, screen on the RC Pro. So we'll go ahead and we'll land here. We can also switch view, so if you want to see the drone flying around... It's kind of hard to see there in the middle.
And of course we can retry if you crash or you just want to start over. And we can use our C1 and C2 button at the back to do various things. That takes us up to a menu where we can go back to the home screen, change location, access our settings. And the C2 button there just resets it if you do happen to crash. So yeah, an interesting update. I know this isn't going to be for everybody, but it's a free app, so it doesn't hurt to download it and uh, mess around with it to see if it's something you enjoy or not. So yeah, that is the firmware update. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.